everyone, what's up? My name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be covering why command line options maybe aren't working for you in EA Desktop, specifically for Apex Legends, but this applies to any other game on the platform. Basically, launch options are things that you can place on your game to set maximum memory, give it more processor cores, customize the game or anything like that. And they're really useful to have, especially for optimization purposes. And Apex Legends is definitely something that can benefit a lot if you have the correct launch options set up. In Steam, it's pretty easy. You just locate the game, right click properties, general, and hey, you can type in your launch options here. This is a test, whatever. These are your launch options. They work as soon as you close it. It's done. However, inside of EA Desktop, it's a little bit different. If I click Apex Legends on the side, then click the three dots down here, followed by View Properties, I get to this screen where we can type in the advanced launch options. So while you would think it's as simple as type in whatever they have here or type in your options, you may notice that simply entering a dash or a slash or double dash, you get an error that looks like this. The commands you entered contain invalid characters. Be sure to enter valid alphanumeric, A to Z, 0 to 9, and special characters, hyphen, slash, etc. Well, we've done exactly that and we're getting an error. This is a very misleading error and it seems to be checking if our arguments are actually real. So if I simply stick together some options here, you'll see that I'm getting some errors and this looks pretty legit. The reason is, well, simply put, pluses for some reason aren't accepted in this screen here. By removing them, it makes it nice and happy. Why this is, I have absolutely no idea. So removing pluses seems to fix the issue and it also seems to check if these are valid arguments. If I put a space right between the dash and a command, it'll say it's invalid, which is true. This won't actually do anything. If it's hyphen followed by a name and maybe a number or something like that, it'll work properly. If there's a space, it's considered two separate arguments. So here is one, then here is the second, here is the third, and this is the fourth option, or rather fourth and fifth. It gets a bit confused. If I do this, then this is considered as one argument until it sees another dash or a slash. Why this doesn't work with pluses, I have no idea, but I guess that's just invalid in their eyes. If we go ahead and fix it up to look how they want it to look, it'll work exactly as we would have hoped. Now, unfortunately, as far as I understand, there isn't a way that we can get around using this system here. I'm not too sure if you can make a shortcut with arguments on it. For example, using hyphen dev successfully skips the intro video, which is what this is supposed to do. However, if there's nothing here, and I click the three dots, then view properties and browse to open up the game folder, we have all of these files here both the Easy Anzi Cheat Launcher and r5apex.exe. If we right-click one of them and create a shortcut, then right-click Properties, usually you'll be able to surround the target here in quotes. So I usually select everything, Control X to cut, enter quote one, paste, enter the second quote, and then space followed by our launch arguments, in my case, hyphen dev. Usually this works for games, but for some reason it doesn't seem to work with EA Desktop. Anyways, if you know a way around this, please do let me know. So for now, we'll have to stick to using the EA Desktop Launcher here and the options that can go into the Advanced Launch Options section here. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.